Hello. In this lecture, we will do an example problem. It's a homework problem at the end of the chapter. <clears throat> and uh, we will apply uh, Ohm's Law, Kirchhoff's Current Law, and Kirchhoff's Voltage Law in order to um, analyze this circuit. <clears throat> so let's take a look at the circuit. We are, um, let's first start with what is uh, Ohm's Law. So Ohm's Law uh, states that the voltage of an element is directly proportional to the current going through the element and the resistance of the element. Uh, Kirchhoff's Current Law, I like to state it as the sum of the currents going into the element is equal to the sum of the currents going out of the element. Another way of saying that is sum of currents uh, at a node is zero. Um, <clears throat> and um, going into the node may be positive if going out of the node is negative or vice versa. Um, Kirchhoff's voltage law states that the sum of the voltage in a closed path or loop is equal to zero. Okay, in this problem, it states that the currents I sub A uh, is four amps, and I sub B is minus two amps. And they want us to find I sub G, V sub G, and the power and uh, dissipated by all of the resistors. Um, and then uh, the power of the sources. Well, I don't think we'll do all of that, um, but what we will find uh, for now is V sub G and I sub G. Um, so the first thing I want to do is um, establish my current. So I'll call this I sub one, I'll call this one I sub two, and this one I sub three. So this is our current for each um, closed loop. And um, we can say that I sub three is equal to minus I sub B, which is two amps. And I sub one, I should have done that one first, huh? Is equal to the minus of I sub A, which would be minus four amps. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, let's start by Applying Kirchhoff's current law. Uh, let me give it a. Let's go back to pink. Oh no, let's do green here. Uh, Kirchhoff's current law. Let's let's do it here. So um, we could say either I sub B. Um, so I sub B would be going through here in this direction and this direction. So we'll keep it with the knowns. I sub A is going down this way. So this is um, I sub B. And this would be I sub A. We'll call this one I sub 5. So we'll do Kirchhoff's current law at the green node. And... Um, <clears throat> The sum of the current going in, oops, is equal to the sum of the current going out. So going into the node, we have I sub B. And leaving the node, we have I sub A plus I sub 5. <clears throat> uh, we know I sub B, it's my uh, 2 amps, minus 2 amps. 
And we know I sub A is 4 amps, but we do not know I sub 5, but we do know I sub 5 is equal to minus 6 amps. So that will be helpful information. Okay, let's change color. And <clears throat> let's apply KVL around loop 1. And that will help us find B sub G because we know um, this current and this resistance. We now know this current and this resistance, so we'll know the voltage. And we know the voltage here. Um, and there's only one other voltage, which is B sub G. So let's get rid of some of this stuff so that we can see. Um, <clears throat> Let's assign polarity, so I'm going to make this plus minus, that's B sub G is plus minus here. We'll make this plus sorry, uh, we'll make this side plus and this side minus. Okay, so um, as we're going around the loop, we'll start at this node and work our way around. So we first have minus 100 volts, and we come up and we come over here, um, and we have plus, this is 5 ohms, and minus 6 amps, and we come down. Um, through the positive of V sub G, so that's plus V sub G. And we work our way around, now we're at the negative, so we're minus, and then 15 ohms times four amps, and that is equal to zero. <clears throat> All right, so let's add things up here, or simplify. Minus 100, minus 30, plus V sub G, uh, minus 60 is equal to zero. Uh, so we'll move V sub G to one side and everything else to the other, and we get uh, V sub G is equal to plus 190 volts. So we have our answer for V sub G, 190 volts. Um, <clears throat> now let's try to find I sub G. Um, let's see, I have this one down here, so, um, we said that I sub B is equal to minus 2 amps, and I sub A is 4 amps. Okay, so, um, Let's see if we, can you tell that I haven't done this yet? Um, so we established our currents, I1, I2, I sub three. Um, so let's, let's apply Kirchhoff's current law here. We've got I sub B going this direction, I sub 2, and make this I sub 30. So um, KCL at node, um, sum of current going in is equal to sum of current going out. So coming in, we have I sub 30 is equal to uh, what's going out, which is I sub B plus I sub 4. So I sub 30, or we could call this I sub 2, I sub 2 or I sub 4. I sub 30 is equal to minus 2 plus I'm calling this I sub 4. 
Okay. <clears throat> now let's do um let's let's actually let's apply uh Kirchhoff's voltage law at loop two, which would be this loop. Okay. Um, starting at this node, we work our way up. This is a minus, so it's minus V sub G. Uh, we come around. We'll make this plus, plus, minus, plus, minus. Um, plus, you know what? I'm going to make I sub 4, I sub 2. I think it'll be easier here. All right. Um, plus uh, V sub 30 plus V sub 4 plus V sub 16 is equal to 0. Um, <clears throat> we want to solve for V sub 30. So let's say V sub 30 is equal to V sub G minus V sub 4 minus V sub 16. And we'll put these two in terms of I sub 2. So V sub 30, which is, oh, we'll just leave it V sub 30 for now. Uh, v sub g, which we know, minus v sub 4, which is um, <clears throat> 4 ohms times i sub 2, uh, minus 16 ohms times i sub 2. So v sub 30 is equal to v sub g minus 20 I sub 2. I sub 2. <clears throat> okay. All right. So um I guess we could change out V sub 30 using this value. So it's 30 ohms times minus 2 plus I sub 2. So it's I sub 30 is equal to V sub G minus 20 I sub 2. So minus 60 plus 30 I sub 2 is equal to V sub G minus 20 I sub 2. Uh, we know V sub G is 190. Uh, so let's put this guy over here and this guy on this side and that would give us 50 I sub 2 is equal to 190 plus 60, which is 250. I sub 2 is equal to 5 amps. All right, that will be useful. Um, now we can do... Let's see, what color? How about purple? We can do KCL here. So this is I sub G. This is I sub A. And going here will be I sub 2. So KCL at the node. Um, sum of current coming in 
is equal to sum of current going out. Uh, so coming in, we have I sub A plus I sub G is equal to going out, which is I sub 2. And we're looking for I sub G. So I sub G is equal to I sub 2 minus I sub A. And we know both of those values, so it's 5 amps minus um, I sub A is 4. Oh, I'm sorry. I sub 2 is going in this direction. So they're all, so this would be a minus. Here, we'll erase that. So it'd be I sub A plus I sub G plus I sub 2. So we're looking for I sub G. So I sub G is equal to minus 9 amps. Okay, <clears throat> let's see, do I have more of this down here? So, we know this current, I sub 2, is equal to 5 amps. We know I sub G is equal to minus 9 amps. Uh, we know I sub A is equal to 4 amps, and I sub B is equal to minus 2 amps. So we found the current going through here. I think that was minus 6 amps up front. And I sub 30, we, I sub 30 is equal to minus 2 plus 5. Taking that up from up here. So I sub 30 is equal to 3 amps. So, <clears throat> um, and that was this direction. Um, you know the current through every resistor, so you can calculate the power using I squared R. Um, these resistors would all be I sub B. And in the next chapter, we'll talk about why this is, you don't know necessarily. It's not the value of the, the loop, but. Um, okay, so. Uh, you will calculate the power in all the resistors using uh, I squared R equation, and then the power sources, you will use power is equal to the I, um, <clears throat> and so for this one, it's 4 amps in this direction. So it would be minus 4 amps in the other direction. Okay. That should help you get through the problem. And I will call it quits on this video. That's the end of this lecture.